G'day and welcome to another video with Betterpix. Hope this finds you well. Today's video, we're going to have a look at further color adjustments with CapCut. Now, there's some fantastic options for color correction, color adjustments, and getting specific looks within CapCut. And what we're going to have a look at today is the HSL, or Hue, Saturation, and Luminance. Now, these adjustments would be something that photographers are particularly used to because it's a pretty common thing to use in uh, your photo editing software. So to have it available in CapCut will be a really easy adjustment to make those sort of adjustments to your footage uh, as opposed to your photographs. So similarities in how it works and some great options in there. All right, let's have a look at it. So you can see we've got some clips here, a uh, variety of clips and environments, some drone, some shot on the ground. So we're going to go to our first clip and we're going to select the clip on the timeline. We're just going to drag this down as well a little bit just open up the size of the actual preview and when you click on the clip itself you can see that you've got all these options up here on the right hand side top right hand side uh, so same as last time we're going to go to adjust and last time we talked about the basic tab today we're going to head one over to the right the hsl tab or hue saturation and luminance and you can see you've got those three sliders there as you would find in the main uh, photo editing options within adobe so you can see you've, there's uh, some predetermined colors there so red orange yellow green uh, aqua or turquoise uh, blue purple and pink so with those predetermined color options, we're going to be able to deal with the majority of colors that we're likely to find within our footage. Uh, but we've also got an eyedropper tool there as well. Uh, and if we select that eyedropper tool, we can actually select, drag to select color, specific colors within the footage. And you can see it's just added an extra little color sample there. And we're going to do, do another one down here. Yep, so another one down here. And we're going to do one over there. So you can see I've very easily been able to add in four colors uh, directly based out of the uh, footage that we're working with. So it just means that you've got a little bit more control. You can specifically select colors that's in your footage rather than just working with the predetermined versions or options that uh, come by default. That's a really good thing to be able to do because sometimes you're just working with specific colors and you really want to be able to hone in on those colors and get them exactly where you want them to be. All right, so let's start looking at adjusting some of those colors. So we're just going to select that first one. And as with the hue that you would find in uh, your photo editing software, hue basically just changes the nature of the color. So you can see that it's a bit of a spectrum there. It takes it to adjoining colors that you would normally see on the color spectrum. Saturation adjusts the intensity of the color. So you can see if I slide it all the way to the left, it's actually removing all of the color, but only within that color that we've selected. And if we go to the right, it's increasing the intensity of that color. And then brightness is, as the name suggests, it goes darker or brighter. All right, let's just move along. And again, you can see that darkness and brightness is only affecting the specific areas that that uh, color exists in. So again, with the saturation all the way to the left, we're removing color all the way to the right, we're increasing the color intensity. So you can see that with those sliders, you don't want to go to extremes, but if you just slowly but surely work with those sliders and move them in a way that works with the image rather than it being extreme adjustments, uh, otherwise we start to get into a realm where the image or the footage looks less than realistic. Um, so you just want to, I guess, season to taste and take the approach of how am I working with the natural color that's already there? How am I creating uh, some adjustments that are really going to work with those colors and just help to uh, make the footage look better and en enhance those colors? All right, let's go along the timeline. We're going to go along to this one here. Uh, so this is a fairly static uh, piece of footage. There's not a lot of movement in there, but you can see it's in a rainforest. And as you would expect in a rainforest, there's a lot of green. All right, so we'll just pause that. And we're going to, rather than selecting colors with our eyedropper tool, we're just going to select the greens. And you can see, particularly with the hue, it really does change that color quite dramatically. If we go to the left, it, there's a, a very yellow, sort of pale green going on there. And again, with the color saturation, if we go all the way to the right, it in increases that it color intensity. All the way to the left, it's going to drop out all of that color. Now, while we've selected green, there's colors on either side that you're still going to see some adjustments there not so much with that one but i reckon if we go to yellow 
we're going to see some parts of the image because there's quite a lot of yellow in rainforest and particularly rainforest greens and you can see that that saturation is definitely having an effect and that brightness would definitely be having an effect as well. So again, I'm doing big, strong adjustments there, but it's just for the sake of demonstration for you to see. And those adjustments that you make need to be in a way that works with the image. Now, we could go up to blue and reds uh, and all of those options, but obviously in an image or footage like this, uh, we're not going to see as much adjustment. Let's head over to some aerial footage that I filmed uh, in Central Australia. And you can see, unlike the rainforest image, this has got some really strong reds and oranges. So I'm going to select that orange, and you can see if we drop the saturation down, it really is having a big effect all the way to the right. Massive intensity of colour there, far too much for my taste, but uh, it uh, at least shows you how that colour is uh, is being affected in such a dominant colour that's already in the footage. With the hue, obviously, if we go all the way to the left, it gives it more of a red. If we go all the way to the right, it gives you more of a greeny yellow. And again, brightness is just going to help to increase and decrease that brightness within that colour spectrum. So as you can see, there's some real benefits to looking at the HSL for colour adjustments within uh, CapCut. It gives you that same level of flexibility uh, that you would normally see in photo editing with the same sort of tools. Uh, but keep in mind as well, you've got that eyedropper tool so you can select specific colours within your footage and, and really get the accuracy of those uh, uh, of those colour adjustments exactly where you want them to be, uh, which is always a good thing. Thanks as always for stopping by. I hope this video has been helpful. As always, any questions are welcome in the comments below. Uh, make sure you have a bit of a play with some of your footage within CapCut and use the HSL just to see how it works with your footage if it helps you to get the results that you're after. And uh, hopefully you'll see some real benefits to using it as a tool. Take care and we'll see you next time.